I'm showing you how to make two easy 15 minute fat loss meals that I'm making right now from Walmart that help me go from a size 24 to a size four. And I'm making what I'm calling soup salad and an English muffin delight and turkey cheeseburgers with my grandma's lightened up breaded cauliflower on the side. So I'm starting with the soup salad English muffin deal and this is what you're gonna need. Cuter for me. A slice of turkey bacon that's been cooked and cut into little pieces. This is my favorite. It's the Butterball Applewood Smoked Turkey Bacon. So one slice, two minutes per side on in a frying pan. A Caesar salad kit, like a bag. One that includes some dressing, croutons, some cheese. We are going to beef up the uh, Caesar salad with turkey bacon for more protein and flavor. And just for reference, it's 140 cows for one and a half cups, so about half a bag. Two cans of soup. I'm making two meals today, one for Sass and one for me, so two cans of low-cal soup. This one is the Campbell's Chunky Vegetable Beef. 130 cows per cup and about seven grams of protein is what I look for. And then we need some English muffins, two whole wheat ones. These are the Dempster's whole wheat that, and I've cut them obviously into halves. And then we need some low-cal margarine. This is the Country Crock Original, 35 cows for two teaspoons. I've got the soup already heated up. I'm gonna pop the English muffins into the toaster. So that you get the Parmesan cheese, the croutons, and the salad dressing. I'm gonna dump the bacon in here for all the rest of the stuff in here. So, there we go. Kyle, my husband, sassy, he's cute. Him and I, we've lost the same amount of weight. We've lost 130 pounds and kept it off for nine years. And the two meals I'm showing you today were staples throughout our weight loss journey because when it came to meals, in order for us to stick to what we were doing, we needed quick, easy, and tasty, and budget friendly, which we're not sponsored by Walmart, but we choose Walmart because it often has a lot of budget friendly options. If our meals took too long or were too complicated to make, like we don't wanna to stick to it. And if we don't like what we're eating, forget it. It's not gonna last. Because we also have big appetites and we're always hungry. Um, and it's normal to be a bit hungry when you're eating in a calorie deficit. And we too. like normal food. Yeah, so we choose normal food, but also stuff like soup, salad, things with like, where it's a decent amount of protein, low cal, high volume, so that we can feel like we're eating a lot, feel fuller longer, but low cal meals enough that will keep us in a calorie deficit so that we can lose the weight and now keep it off. And yes, we often get said, told like, but you're eating margarine, but you eat canned soup. Yes, bag Caesar salad, canned soup. This kind of stuff saved our lives. We were morbidly obese and we needed to like our food to stick to what we were doing so we could get the weight off because the weight was the problem. The weight was causing Kyle and I serious health problems. I had sleep apnea so bad. I needed a CPAP machine to help me breathe at night. When it came to being morbidly obese, choosing that, or having, you know, canned soup and margarine, I chose the canned soup and margarine. All Stop right. letting social media confuse you about what to eat. Exactly, yes. You can eat whatever you want. It's not what you eat, it's how much you eat. Exactly. The only rule to losing weight, the friends, is you need to be in a calorie deficit, meaning you need to eat less. It's, and people get so confused. It's not what, it's not the types of food you're eating, it's how much you need to eat less. If I ate cheeseburgers in a calorie surplus, I would gain weight. If I eat cheeseburgers in a calorie deficit, I'll lose weight. Same with healthy food. Surplus, you'll gain. Deficit, you'll lose. So we choose food that we really enjoy. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna put a teaspoon per English muffin of margarine and... And it's the portioning that saved our lives. Exactly, and on top of like these meals being super tasty and quick and easy, 
it's the portion control. We chose portion control to help us eat less, to get in a calorie deficit, to lose the weight. Because, you know, we count calories now, but we couldn't in the beginning because any sort of numbers in calorie counting, it triggered our emotional eating because we both struggled with that. So portion control really helped us. And these meals are all portioned out and we'll show you exactly how we do that. And if you don't know, like we didn't know when we were starting out, but this will never be popular on social media because it's simple, it's basic, and you don't have to pay any extra and you don't need a formula to figure it out. Every packaged food tells you the serving size on the back of packages. If you don't know where to start for portion control, that's where you start. That's exactly Two where- Two teaspoons <laughs> is a serving. That's exactly go. where we started, yep. The bag of salad, I'm going to divide that up for Kyle and I, and it's going to be about a cup and a half of salad, or basically half a bag. The bag salad, it has about two servings in it, so we know, okay, if we split it between the two of us, then that's the right amount of portions. This Caesar salad kit, it didn't come with any like bacon or any protein. So I added turkey bacon to add protein because protein helps lower your hunger hormone ghrelin. So it can help you stay fuller longer. So those are like little tricks that we do. And why we ate a lot of soup on our journey is because liquids help fill your belly. And when you choose one like, you know, that's got protein and lots of veggies, that will also help bulk it up and help you feel fuller longer. Okay, so I'm gonna go, we're gonna split these cans. Um, I'm going to start with one cup and then kind of go from there to make sure we get equal servings. So now I've done the cup, I'm gonna take a quarter cup and go from there. It's gonna be about one and a half cups of soup to one and three quarter cup. Yeah, one and three quarter cups each. Why Kyle and I failed for so many years, like we literally failed for years trying to lose weight because we took all that confusing, overwhelming, misleading information out there and we tried to do everything all at once when really you need to like what you're eating, you need to eat less and you need to be consistent with it. It's so simple but it can be so overwhelming and hard because of all the information you hear out there. So really what worked for us is be consistent with eating less, portioning everything out every single day. We still have to portion it out even after nine years. We cannot not portion our food because Kyle and I um, always have to stay on top of stuff. And that's what we do and we like what we eat. So here's my cute little sassies soup and salad, that's his portion for dinner, and then this is my portion for dinner. Calories for this entire meal, the soup, the English muffins, the margarine, the salad, with all the bahungas in there, it's 531 calories, 23 grams of fat, 59 grams of carbs, and 23 grams of protein. That's a feast for a cute one and a king like my Sasha Rooney cute boy. While we're on protein, I got this huddled, this HTLT seps. I call it huddled. Um, this is the maple cookie. They literally have the best tasting protein powder ever. I love maple cookie because it's super versatile. Like Kyle and I love putting it in plain fat-free Greek yogurt because it makes the tastiest low-cal high protein fruit dip. It's so good. I also put it in like oatmeal and protein pancakes and stuff. Code Nicole will save you 15% off and the link is down below. Oh, look at that beautiful bite. Mm -mm. Mm -hmm. All right, Sass and I, we're gonna enjoy our dinner. Then I'm gonna do this and you're gonna see me getting ready to make the turkey cheeseburgers and breaded cauliflower. Ready? Turkey cheeseburgs and breaded cauliflower grandma style. This is what we're doing. So we're starting with the cauliflower. I used two medium heads of cauliflower, chopped it up, put it in a large pot, covered it with water, brought it to a boil and then boiled for seven minutes until really easily pierced with a fork and like falling apart. And then now what I'm gonna do is I've got two tablespoons of the same margarine we used um, on the English muffins, two tablespoons the country crock. Then I've got six tablespoons of seasoned panko breadcrumbs and some salt and pepper. 
So I'm just going to toss all of this in here like that and make sure I get all the margarine off of here. And then I'm going to season it with some salt and pepper to taste. And this is actually like my grandma made this for me all the time when I was little growing up, but her recipe is pretty dense in calories. So I lightened it up that way I could get could enjoy it on my weight loss journey and not have to give it up. Um, so what I actually did was I put this recipe in the guilt-free cookbook. This recipe is in the guilt-free cookbook. It's low-cal versions of all your favorite food. It's got super cool side dishes like this and like a low-cal Big Mac, protein ice cream, pizza, cheesecake, cupcakes. You name it, we got a tasty recipe in there. Code Nicole will save you 10% and the link is down below. Um, so this is basically ready to go and depending on the sizes of cauliflower that you get, um, this should make approximately six servings. So a heaping cup per serving. Sass and I have a little bit of cows to play around with today. So we're gonna do one and a half servings and then save the rest for tomorrow. So if this is how it should look when you're done. Everything should be well combined, margarine should be melted, and it should be like, you know, basically falling apart. About a heaping cup and a half. So like, you know, a rounded cup. So we'll do that. And then like, so for sassy, and then a bit of a, which works out perfect because we will save the rest for tomorrow for us. So that's one and a half servings. There we go, perfect. So that is beautiful. Put the rest for tomorrow. We did a pound of extra lean ground turkey and I basically divide it into four and make four even size patties. They should be a little over 100 grams per patty before cooking if you weigh them out. And then I cook them on medium high heat season the tops with salt and pepper seven to eight minutes per side and here we go so this makes four burgers sass and i are having one each tonight and then the other two are going to go tomorrow with the um, rest of the cauliflower so i'm going to top each of these with some light cheese slices and these are the light cheese slices from walmart the great value so I'm just gonna get these on here and lots let... of protein in there. Yes, it's true. They're like four grams of protein per slice and only like 35 cows. So we'll get that on there so that it melts. And then we're gonna put them on some low cow buns. And these are literally just the Wonder Bread hamburger buns. And they're 130 cows per bun. Topping wise, what we're gonna do is we've got some sliced tomato, two slices per burger, and we've got some baby dill pickles. So let's first top these with tomato, and then a little bit of salt and pepper. Sassy taught me this to flavor the tomatoes with salt and pepper. Then we've got some pickles, and these are baby dill pickles, and we're using the great value ones from Walmart. One pickle per burger. So I cut up two for today, one for me, one for Sassaroo. And then we're gonna do a tablespoon of light Miracle Whip for the buns per burger. So I'm gonna spread this on the tops of the buns. Then, about a quarter cup of shredded lettuce. So we're using these lettuce shreds, the iceberg ones from Walmart, the year fresh market. About a quarter cup of lettuce per burger. I'm gonna do it like this. Some ketchup, and we use the no sugar added ketchup. About a tablespoon, you can measure this, but I'm just gonna eyeball it. Oopsies. <laughs> Don't worry, ah. in editing, I'll fix that. <laughs> Nobody will even see that. <laughs> Look at this, oh my goodness. We'll just watch, pretend that you didn't see that. Wow, look at your clean white plates, Nicole. <laughs> and then a teaspoon of mustard, and this is just the great value. Well, 
was trying to be cool as a cucumber there. Nice and clean. <laughs> and then, whoop. Whoa. See that? See that action? And whoop, just like so. Get rid of those. Nobody's seen a messy plate. And that, burgers with the breaded collie. Oh yeah. <laughs> all right, the friends, so for this entire meal, the burger with all the fixins and all of this lovely cauliflower, it's 483 cows, 15 grams of fat, 47 grams of carbs, and 34 grams of protein. Super tasty. Let's have a bite of this. Oh, I love my Grammy's breaded collie. Stop making weight loss a punishment. You're allowed to love what you're eating. If you're not having fun, you're not getting it done, meaning you're never gonna stick to it if you don't like what you're eating and doing. Watch this vid and this vid for more fun, sustainable weight loss tips, cause Sass and I are real friends losing weight in the real world. You gotta wake up and be excited every day, like whoa, 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 cauliflower, cheese, burgers, soup, salad, yeah. Stop putting the pressure on yourself and focus on what you like to eat and what works for you while you're eating in a calorie deficit. We love you. Thanks so much for watching. <laughs> I'll catch you in the next bit, cutie. Yes, I will. Oh, yeah. Pizza, pizza, pizza. I think I just got ketchup on my face. <sighs> love you. Remember the friends that weight loss isn't just about the number on the scale. It's also about here and here. Heart and mindset. Fight through it. You can do it. Don't give up.